Hi, I'm Cliff Alaperti with the Mortal Ephemera, and today we're going to be looking quickly at a brand new book. Uh, a while ago, I had read W.C. Fields' biography by James Curtis, and even though I'm not the biggest Fields fan in the world, I love this book. So when I saw yet a new book coming out, um, one of the biggest stars of Hollywood's Golden Age, I bought it, and it came out today. Now, I know most people, uh, when they do an unboxing, they're doing an iPad or the latest electronical gadget. But here at thingsandotherstuff.com, we're a little more old school, a little more old fashioned. And there's no batteries required. So, yeah, this is as big as I thought it was going to be. Book by Curtis is about Spencer Tracy. And there it is. It's the front cover, hard cover. Back cover. Take the jacket off. And let's see. I was told this was going to be pretty big. Uh, Raquel it out of the past mentioned that. And yep, including the index, the final page is page 1001. So this is going to keep me busy for a while. Uh, no photo section, huh? That's surprising. There are a few photos mixed throughout. But obviously, this is my first glance at this. I'm not seeing any uh, glossy photos in the middle. That's okay by me, though. I'm buying the book for the words. And normal size print. Yeah, Curtis also wrote a biography of James Whale. I'd like to check out one of these days. I'll have to find a used copy on Amazon. Uh, published by Knopf, 2011. And we have chapters such as general business, a born actor, a sissy sort of thing, the best goddamned actor, dread, the last mile, etc. Uh, some film titles come up later, the power and the glory, woman of the year, oh, the big drunk should be interesting. And let's see, the text runs through page 879 when we get an author's note. It's like six pages about the biographies of Catherine Hepburn. And then there's a stage chronology, a film chronology, about, looks like 58 pages of notes and sources, and another six pages of a select bibliography. So there it is, Spencer Tracy, a biography by James Curtis, and this should keep me busy for the next few weeks. Thanks for watching. Bye.